It is a blessing to be here with you this morning. There's a song that says, it's another day in Jesus, and I'm glad about it. How many of you are glad this morning? Glad that the Lord has kept us. Glad that we're here. We thank you to the Offwood family, to our friends, and for you across the globe for joining us this morning. We're just glad to be here. And there's another song that says, it's another day in journey, and I'm glad about it. I want you to put those glad hands together this morning. And let's just thank God for another day. Amen. We are blessed that Daniel Caesar takes us into our worship service this morning. Join us.
Ministry. 
joy and be street. They glad oh, yeah. in it. I will gladly say unto me, let us go and choose the house of the Lord. Yeah. Trail with 
in place. Do we remember our God, Creator God, when we look in the mirror every single day and realize that God made and formed us, shaped us in God's own image? God has a track record of asking us to remember Him. He said, remember, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, and you shall have no other gods before me. Exodus reminds us that God wants us to put some respect on who God is. Yes. God wants us to prosper. In Deuteronomy, God tells us to remember that it is our dependence upon God that makes the difference. God tells us that it is the Lord who gives us the ability to create wealth. But God says, don't get haughty. Don't become arrogant, because it is the Lord your God who is calling you to have great success. Moses is telling us in Deuteronomy to remember our dependence on God, to be faithful, to observe God's commandments, to be a part of God's plan. But as we move forward into our text today, this is also Communion Sunday. This is our time as believers where we remember the sacrifices of Jesus. Jesus also, like God, wants us to remember who he is. He tells us that it's important that we understand that Jesus came into the earth, doing the will of his Father, the one who sent him, and we ought to put some remembrance on Jesus' sacrifice. Sometimes as we're going through life and life begins to hit us hard, we may forget that God and Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit is all working for our good. Jesus, he has some disciples with him. And I sometimes wonder how did he pick the ones he chose? Because oftentimes they seem so oblivious to who Jesus really was. But Jesus tells them, that it's important that as we gather today, that we recall exactly what Jesus was up to. Jesus knew that he was on a timeline. He knew that he had a certain amount of opportunities to communicate his purpose in the earth. Jesus gathers these around in different translations and different authors in the Gospels. Talk about this moment where Jesus gathers the disciples. He brings them forward, and he shares about this sacrament, this ritual that we partake in. And Jesus is telling them that he is the bread of life. I like John's gospel because John has a series of what I call, and scholars call, the I am statements. He says that Jesus is the bread of life. He says that if you want to live and to live well, we've got to take on ownership of the body of Jesus Christ. He talks about the cup. And this cup of this new covenant, which is shed for all of us, symbolic of the blood of Jesus. But he tells them as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And I want us to know today that what Jesus was doing back then, his presence is here today, just to ask us the question, do you remember me? Sometimes I know like Jesus, he probably felt that after all the things that I have done to empower the people, they sometimes still act like they don't know who I am. Some of us today may be in a similar position where we are doing the very best that we can to empower others, to help them to realize that there is someone greater within me that is in the world, and I am here to bring you to a closer fellowship, closer relationship with God, and yet sometimes still with all of the teaching and the preaching that takes place, people still sometimes forget the investment that you made. But God says today is our day. Today is our day to remember Jesus. Remember that time when you were down and out, when it seemed as if you had no one whom you could rely. That time when you were trying to make a decision, but it seemed like clarity was missing you. Remember that time when you had to make a 
Question mark. Do you remember me that when God said that you are the head and not the tail, did you remember that you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you? Do you remember me, the one who left my heavenly home, came into earth, came through the Virgin Mary? Do you remember me, the one who God says he was pleased with before I did anything? Do you remember me? All right. The one who did miracles in the earth. Do you remember me that when your relative was sick and sick unto death, but the prayers of the righteous of Bell is much, and I prayed for your relative and they came up and they came out. Do you remember me? All right. Jesus wants us to have a total recall on today about who he is and the power that he possesses. I know sometimes in life that we're going through it and it seems like there is no Jesus, there is no answer, there is no help for us. But I come by to tell you that God's ways are still higher than our ways and God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And sometimes just in the moment where you feel like all oh, hope is gone, Jesus comes in by way of the Holy Spirit to remind us, just remember me. Remember my sacrifice, that it wasn't in vain. Remember the fact that I came here for a unique purpose, and that was to save your soul. Amen. Jesus wants us to remember him on today because we have so much that is crowding our thought life, so much that we see visually, so much that we hear, that sometimes we don't even hear and recognize the voice of the Lord. But God says today, will you remember me? Remember me that this sacrifice that I made, it was a hard press even for Jesus. He wanted God to remove the cup, but if he would not, he said, nevertheless, at your will. Uh -huh. Jesus is here to encourage and to remind us that when we get our focus back on him, we realize that we have a winning formula. Yeah. We have something that is deep within the recesses of our minds and our spirits, something that is causing us to move forward even when it feels like we want to faint. Jesus is here today to remind us that it is our time to remember him, to become dependent on him so that we might be free to do what God has called us to do. Jesus is here today to remind us that this sacrifice that he made over 2,000 years ago, it still works. It still works. The Bible tells us that when Jesus broke this bread and he shared this wine, it was to bring all of those people together. When we do the same thing in just a little moment, we're reminding everybody that where Jesus is, you are welcome. Yeah. Yeah. That the cup and the bread is still available to all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those who were there with Jesus, they were no better than you or me. They were some of the scoundrels that Jesus brought on alongside, changing their hearts and changing their minds. In a similar fashion, all of us can say, Lord, I'm not worthy to even drink the cup or even worthy to take this bread. But because of who Jesus is, he said, remember that I am the sacrificial lamb. I am the Lord and your God. I am the one who God sent into this earth. And because of what I that makes you worthy on today. I want everybody to understand that this thing that Jesus did left us a great spiritual legacy. And so if you feel like, I don't believe that God will receive me. I don't believe that God will accept me. I don't believe that God would forgive me. God says, listen, come to me all who are feeling heavy burdened. Come to me, every one of you who are overwhelmed with life and trying to figure out. Come to me and eat of me and drink of me 
We have a powerful gift of the Holy Spirit that is all combined to help us to continue to be fed, that we hunger not and we thirst not, but that if we partake, if we remember, if we acknowledge, I believe God will rain down from heaven the true bread that we all might be filled and we all might be satisfied. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Alden Road, Stone Mountain, Georgia, 30083. Again, 640, Alden Road, Stone Mountain, Georgia, 30083. Thank you. God, we thank you for this opportunity to be. We thank you for what you have put on our heart to be a blessing to this ministry and to this community. We thank you, oh God, for what you're doing. We thank you, oh God, for that that is being done that our eyes have not yet been healed. But yet, by the Spirit, it's being done. Thank you, God, again, for this opportunity to give us so into this work. We ask that you bless every gift, that you bless every giver. Return it unto them tenfold. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. At this time, we ask that in your homes and here in the church, that you will prepare your communion elements as Reverend Hope Sutton comes and serves the Lord's Supper this morning. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we do not love you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbor. And we have not heard the cry of the need. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proved God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took the bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup and gave thanks to you, gave to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And now, with the confidence of children of God, let us recite the prayer that Jesus taught to his disciples, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. 
You have shown by eating the bread and taking the cup and renew your covenant with God. May God bless you. Amen. The benediction. May the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest rule and abide with you now and forever. May the power of God that comes from above give you strength on your journey. May the blessings of God overtake you in this season and give you courage to run your race. And may as we go forth from this place that we will continuously remember Jesus, his sacrifice, and his love. 